Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I take cars that are gas and make them electric. Let's get into the updates for this week. So first big updates is we got most of the dashboard installed into the Frontier. Uh, got it all cleaned up, got the airbag in, all the, the knobs and twiddlers. Uh, we got the gauges in there, everything's nice. And I used uh, some cleaner on there to clean it all up and make it look nice. I love these 90s Japanese cars. You can just take a little elbow grease and they start cleaning up so well. Also, we've got the uh, seven inch Android head unit here. So the benefit of this is we'll be able to pull up Leaf Spy. Leaf Spy is a free app that you can use to monitor any sort of Nissan Leaf. You can see the battery health. You can see all the different cell voltages. You can see the battery temperature, your amps in and out, your kilowatts, all of that stuff through Leaf Spy. So we'll be able to pull Leaf Spy right here to the, the head unit also. It's got, of course, Bluetooth, MP3, uh, Spotify, Pandora, stuff like that, and AM FM radio. And <laughs> we had to get the AM FM radio on there. You can see we even put a new antenna here on the truck because uh, Dave lives in rural Colorado and he likes to listen to the radio. So that's what we got it set up for. Also, we got the coolant in the cooling system. The system's purged and primed. It was actually really easy. And the radiator holds substantially less fluid than I thought, which is good because it'll be lightweight. Then we got the new headlights on. The uh, grill bezel, Dave's got, and he's installing hinges on the charge port doors. And that's coming along really good. So hopefully we'll get that back soon. I think I showed the bumper off last week. The bumper's done. So we just need to install the rest of the front end and she's good to go. So unfortunately we didn't get the test drive in this week. We're still waiting on the seat from the upholsterer and uh, I think it's gonna be ready next week. Um, they're just a little bit behind. So the only things I have to, left to finalize is you can see some wires here uh, for the fuse panel and for the heater, uh, the PTC heater, and then also the heated seats. So I'm gonna have to wire all that stuff up. So that's kind of it. Um, we get the cab vacuumed out. We got the Dynamat installed in it. Um, we're just really waiting on, I got to finish up the little wiring here for the fuse box and the heated seats. And, um, then we can put the, the rest of the interior in, um, we'll probably hit the carpet with a pressure washer. Carpet's kind of grungy, but it's coming together. I think the dash looks really good. All right, let's throw the truck up on the lift and I'll show you some things going on underneath. And you can see here, I've got the uh, main high voltage wire for the motor, or well, the whole motor stack from the battery. So that's how this runs along here. And I've got some P clamps and some metal zip ties just holding this thing on here. And this has um, two layers of conduit protection and uh, like tons of electrical tape inside, outside and uh, really heavy duty crimp lugs, or crimp, uh, what are they, butt connectors, which I use to extend the wire. So super stoked on this. It's, it's like in place, it's not gonna wiggle and chafe, and it works, so that's cool. Uh, then of course, the e-brake cables, I had to get these uh, set back up. Maybe you've noticed in the past videos, they were kind of just dangling because the uh, e-brake, the parking brake, actually came above this cross member up uh, to the uh, little connecting here. This one is unmodified, except it's now going on the outside of the leaf spring hanger, where as before it was on the inside of the leaf spring hanger, but with the box here, it can't travel there. So it's there, same with this side. It's on the outside of the leaf spring hanger. And then this piece here, I cut off of the top inside here and welded on this plate and put a little support on there. And it's just kind of welded onto this uh, cross member now, super, super beefy. But anyway, so the e-brake is now set up all working. All in all, oh, one last thing. I got the little rubber pads in between the battery box mounts and 
the frame. So I just have these little rubber mounts. Okay, so that about does it for this week. Um, like I said, no test drive this week. It is also snowing the last couple days. Uh, so hopefully the weather will be ne better next week and we can do a little test drive around the area and see if it actually works. For one thing I don't know if it works is the speedometer. Um, I'm hoping that the speedometer still works and we might have to do some diagnosis. So anyway, we'll see you next time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends if you think they're gonna like it and leave a comment. If you got any questions at all about this build, if you have your own build you're working on, you need some tips, post down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching.